Take It Back is lucky to be talking with Chicago's own Dr. Laura Berman, a world-renowned sex and relationship expert. Dr. Berman, for many couples, romance and sex can fade over the years. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to keep things hot? Well, when sex is working in a relationship, it's just one, sm one small part of the larger relationship. But when it's not working, it really starts to take on a life of its own and can really cause a disconnection between the two of you. So we all go through ebbs and flows in our sex lives, uh, but it's really, really important not to sweep things under the rug when problems arise. And it's natural in a long-term relationship for things to get a little bit tired, a little bit predictable, and so it's really important to keep putting your attention on how to kind of make things as spontaneous as they can be and as interesting as they can be. Right. So part of the problem for parents is that it's just hard to escape their kids. Mm -hmm. Do you think do you think it's bad for kids to know that their parents are having some alone time, some private time? Absolutely not. I think the opposite. You're the model of what a loving, intimate relationship looks like and feels like. And obviously, they do not need to know the details of your sex life or to see you having sex. That's why you always put a lock on the door. But for them to know that you you guys you know have special private time for you to even say to them okay you know even if they're you set a timer or say after this cartoon you know we'll be back but mommy and daddy are going to take some private time now I think that's a really important message to give your kids uh, about what to expect in their own loving relationships. Yeah, I think a lot of parents are afraid to do that and take that time mm -hmm. for themselves. Yeah, it's you know, go ahead. Um, I think many women wish that they felt like having more sex, but yeah. they're just too tired. Um, how can women boost their own desire? Well, I mean, part of it is intellectual, right? So if you want him to feel more emotionally close to you and connected to you and romantic with you, he gets there through sex. So you have to think of sex as nurturing the romantic connection in the same way that kissing and cuddling and talking nurtures the romantic connection in you. And it's a way to kind of speak his language of love. The other thing is to figure out what's standing in the way of your libido, whether it's needing to make yourself more, you know, changing your lifestyle a little bit to create more opportunities to give yourself more energy and take care of yourself a little bit better uh, because you're not your best mom, wife, person when you're drained of all energy and also doing what you can to to the extent you can especially if you have children protect the spontaneity and one of the areas that I feel is really often overlooked for women is the birth control question because for most of us you know we don't necessarily want more children or we may but if we don't at that moment you know we've been on the same birth control that someone put us on 20 years ago or whatever and we haven't questioned it and as we age as things change you know it's not necessarily always the, the best fit anymore and so uh, taking something that you don't necessarily have to remember every day because many of us can't uh, mm -hmm. for many women hormones don't really fit into their lifestyle or they're having some side effects from it or something else and they just think okay well that's my only option other than condoms or a diaphragm but there's something called IUC intrauterine contraceptive uh, there's one called Paragard for instance uh, that is hormone free 99 percent effective it lasts up to 10 years but a woman whether she's had children or not can get one but she can take it out at any time. So she doesn't have to keep it in 10 years, but when, you know, whenever she takes it out, after one year, two years, whatever, then she returns to the same place fertility-wise that she would have been otherwise. So you don't have to remember to take anything every day. If you're in a monogamous relationship, it can be a great option. And that keeps things more spontaneous. What's that? That keeps things more spontaneous. Yeah, it does. It definitely does, because you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to stop in the middle. And, uh, you know, and I also think embracing sex dates is not something, you know, to shy away from. Even though it doesn't feel spontaneous, you can create spontaneity within it because, you know, most of us know that if you're waiting for it to happen spontaneously, you're sometimes waiting a long time. But if you know that on, you know, Thursday night we have a sex date, you can get playful around it. You can flirt with each other, send each other sexy texts, you know, plan on little surprises for each other, plan a new thing to try together. So it's a great way to ensure that your sexual connection is, is remaining strong. Well, uh, for those big occasions like anniversaries or Valentine's Days mm -hmm. or birthdays, are there any things that you can recommend to making those occasions even more special and passionate? 
Well, try something new, whether it's a toy or a position or a sexy outfit or a role play of some sort. You know, I, uh, I think it's a great idea to give your partner, you know, as a gift, a little book of coupons, you know, of maybe a couple of sexual things that he really enjoys that maybe aren't on the top of your list, but you know that, you know, you don't, you're not opposed to, but you know that he loves or, you know, um, surprising him or creating even a little fantasy box where you both write down all the fantasies you want to act out together or play with together and you pick one out from time to time. <laughs> All right. Well, that is great. Dr. Berman, thank you so much for all the great advice. Thank you.